Billy the Maker, written by April Hilland, narrated by Linnea Sage. Let me tell you a story about a young maker. This Billy Rose dreamed of where making might take her. She daydreamed all over, no matter the weather. The library, though, had her put things together. Surrounded by books, all her visions let loose. With her mind like a runaway train, no caboose. Billy Rose worked with paper, wood, metal, and strings. She made items she loved with her bits, bobs, and things. But one day, Billy noticed the maker space closed. Something has to be done, Billy Rose then proposed. In the library building, the maker space towered with wonderful things that are battery powered. Out sick, the librarian let the books lie. With the space like a pigsty, the books piled up high. To her room, Billy ran, quickly making great strides. First, she grabbed old computers and library guides. Then she worked all through gym time, art classes, and lunch on a project that started from having a hunch. Then at last, she was done. She had finished her quest. She looked up from her work, still alone at her desk. All her classmates were gone, having left for the day. There was no one to hear her triumphant hooray. She snuck into the library, opened the door, passing big mounds of books, finding space on the floor. Billy put down her robot amidst all the clutter. While turning it on, she could feel her heart flutter. At first, it did nothing. She held her breath tight. Then it shuddered and shook. Something didn't seem right. With its lights blinking brightly, it started to roll. While it spun round in circles, it lost all control. The machine jumped on tables, grabbed books, pens, and glue. With a bleep and a bloop to the side, it all flew. Billy grabbed for the off switch with tears in her eyes. Her idea wasn't working despite all her tries. Yes, her bot was a failure. It made the mess worse. This machine wasn't useful. It seemed like a curse. She was frustrated, sad, and so mad she could spit. But she pushed it aside, just refusing to quit. And then back to the drawing board, Billy did race. Because this was a challenge that she would embrace. You see, great engineering takes more than one day. Making headway could take weeks or months, so they say. All those guesses and questions and trials when you need them create masterpieces or even exceed them. She stayed up all night to debug and to test. To perfect her invention, she'd surely invest. So by dawn, Robot 2 was effective and ready. The on button pressed with her fingers so steady. Bot shimmied and chuffed as it rattled to action. While checking and shelving, it gained some good traction. It rumbled through Dewey and Data galore. Soon it shelved every book and was looking for more. As it teetered and tottered and sorted with grace, it would catalog every last thing in that place. All the classrooms were cleaned and the desks were all neat. Yes, that smallest of robots accomplished a feat. The next morning, when Billy awoke with the sun, she was eager to see what her robot had done. So she raced to the library, seeing Miss Hild, who was back and was going to be really thrilled. Because the space was so clean and the shelves were all tidy. A Friday surprise that was awesome and mighty. So guess how Miss Hild would react on that day? Why, of course, she invited the robot to stay. There's a lesson to learn for those paying attention. Each maker can dream up a useful invention. This has been Billy the Maker by April Hilland.